Big Ten fared in the NCAA tournament, and it did not go well. Number one, Purdue got bounced in the first round. Indiana fell to Miami. Michigan State was the only team to make it to the second round, and they got bounced last night. Over the last two years, 17 Big Ten teams have made the tournament, and none have made the Elite Eight. So, Ben, I got to ask you a pretty simple question here. What has been the issue for the Big Ten? Well, I think it starts really at the recruiting level. I mean, you can talk about how the rules have changed, NIL, transfer portal, but we're at a lull right now where it feels like the Big Ten is not that fun as a conference, mm. right? Like, when we talk about fun, I don't, I don't mean like, hey, are the games exciting? Are you bringing in talent? Right. Are you bringing in guys that are going to help develop the league from an out, outside perspective, sure. right? I don't like doing the, hey, this guy, this college has this many NBA players. Sure. I hate that argument. But look, the fact of the matter is the amount of Big Ten players in the NBA, down. The amount of McDonald's All-Americans going to the Big Ten, mm. down. And as two Big Ten guys, we want to be sitting here together and saying, hey, look, the Big Ten's getting a, a really rough you know, go with how it's national perspective. Sure. I want to defend it. Purdue should not lose to FDU, no matter what. Right. You are in the top five of a major conference all year nationally, win the tournament, win the conference. Yep. That cannot happen. Yeah, and it's interesting, too, because I draw a parallel to what the narrative used to be for Big Ten football, and it's kind of shaking it now where people talk about the SEC as number one, Big Ten is right there beneath them. But they used to say, well, you know, it's a big, slow conference. It's predicated off of physicality. They don't have the elite athletes that they have out west and in the south. And I think that's what I heard a lot of when people talked about Big Ten basketball this year. It's like, yeah, you got some seven-footers around there. They're going to slow the game down. They're going to ground you out. Uh, it's it's going to be more of a physical type of game. And to your point, I don't know how you can really recruit elite athletes and tell them that you want them to play a slower pace, more physical game. We're going to feed it to the inside. These guys want to get up and down. That's what FDU literally did. They like to get up and down the court. That's what guys want to be a part of. And when I think about Tom Izzo, right, Michigan State, unfortunately, had to bear the brunt of representing the Big Ten moving forward, which is an impossible task because right. they were a seven seed. And if they were any good, they like right, they would have been in the, right by Purdue. Northwestern finished second in the regular season. Sure. Tom Izzo said, I don't think we are worn out from it, and it being in reference to playing each other and beating each other up. So if you're going to say that after you lose in the Sweet 16, how am I not going to use that against you? If you're not worn out from it, win something. I mean, I don't want to go like in the back back in my day, but go, go the, back the, in the, your the, day. The 20, and this goes beyond me, right? Sure. 2012 to 2018, I can tell you Ohio State went to the Final Four yep. in 12. Michigan went to the National Championship game, lost. 2014, my Final Four year. 2015, they shipped me away to Lithuania. Team's better <laughs> without me. They go to the National Championship game. <laughs> Michigan goes to another one, right? So, like, they were consistently bringing teams to the forefront. You mentioned it. One Elite Eight team in three years with the amount of teams getting in. It's unacceptable. So, I can't sit here and listen to the argument that the Big Ten is one of the best conferences in college basketball. I, I love everything you just said there. And I think, to your point, there's a, a changing tide that's happening in college athletics. And we talk about it from a, a football perspective because it's what most people see. But you mentioned transfer portal. There's now name, image, and likeness. There is an opportunity here in a window to capitalize on what's happening in this landscape, but it's upon the athletic departments to make a commitment to saying that they want to get there. And if they want to keep it old school, they can keep it old school, but you're going to get some old school results that you're probably not going to like.